first electronic shows that I started going to, I was probably 14 years old, 13 years old, and I used to tell my parents that it was a concert, and they would actually pay for me to go to these underground raves, and we would just, you know, drive out into the middle of the desert location or warehouse, and you know, you'd have a code to get in, and you walk in, and you're just transformed instantly by, you know, the bass and the sweat, <laughs> and just the love that's overpouring. It's changed so much over over the years, though. So. Musical influences started off mainly like Led Zeppelin, Jim Morrison, Doors. Um, you know, Pink Floyd was big for me. Um, then Radiohead and the Beatles are pretty much like. That's my jam right there. I'd say like everything kind of always goes back to that. But then Prince and Michael Jackson are definitely up there at the top. Everything inspires me, but electronic wise, I would say Nick Warren was definitely like a turning point for me and Sasha as well. Um, Sasha and Digweed for sure. Sasha and Volver is like, you know, that's definitely at the top of my list. I would say that took me out of the trance side. I was really into jungle and I was really into drum and bass. Um, I never played any of it, uh, I never DJed any of it, but I did have a couple of trance mixes when I first started DJing. I'd play the trance and progressive because I started off um, doing some bigger live shows for Giant back in the day when Giant came to Orange County. The most memorable moment I've ever had on stage I think was actually at the favela bar at Lightning in a Bottle. Um, and I know that sounds a little funny since I played Woogie the, fo the, the following year, but there was just something really special about that set and it's because all of my friends were right behind me and I could feel it. Like I could feel something pulsating behind me. I could feel the love. I had the butterflies, but I also felt like grounded, like I got this. And I'd turn around and I'd just like see another one of my best friends jump up or, or I met people back there too that were like, Hey, can I stand here? Is it cool? Is it cool if I stand here? I, I want to be around these people. I want to be around this vibe. And yeah, I made a few friends actually that that time stage. I'm like, yes, stay here. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Don't move. I'm a drummer. Mm -hmm. um, drums are my jam. That's what I grew up on. Um, I'm learning a little bit of bass and guitar right now from my man Mikey D. So I've definitely been, I, I've always been into percussion. I tried bands and things when I was in high school, um, but I like to be in control, so uh, the DJing is definitely my niche. Uh, before every show, uh, to give myself peace of mind, I've had to learn over the years that it's really important to have some kind of practice, which always involves usually a crystal salt bath for me <laughs> and some yoga and stretching and then I like to actually meditate like you know when I'm standing behind the decks maybe 30 minutes before to whatever DJ is playing before I'll usually kind of like set my direction on where I am and you know become really present to where the night is and where the people are where the DJ is and I like to set a protective barrier around myself but it's actually to protect myself from my own mind. So that's the most important part of my whole ritual, I think, is protecting myself from being in, locked inside my mind and just connecting to my heart. My name's Jamie Schwabel, and I'm originally from Orange County, and now I'm based out of LA, and I'm from the Collective Wolfpack.